According to scripture, the prophet Ezekiel witnessed fiery wheels in the sky. He considered them divine. Now you're about to see a video that could show another celestial object over Israel that also might not be of this earth. 2011, a resident of Jerusalem is out for a stroll when a bright light over the old city catches his eye. He begins to film, and this is what his camera captures. A bright ball of light hangs over the old city. Strange on its own, but then it drops down to just above the buildings, hovers, and amazingly zooms straight up, literally in the blink of an eye. Watch this last part again. The ball of light seems to be just above roof level. There's a bright flash that stuns the onlookers. Whoa! And it rockets up and out of frame in less than a second. This isn't just happening anywhere. The orb, or whatever it is, is sighted over one of Earth's holiest places, the Dome of the Rock, also known as the Temple Mount. The Dome of the Rock is one of the most important sites in Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, where Muhammad ascended into heaven. It's also the site where Abraham uh, was about to sacrifice his son Isaac to God. It is also where Solomon was said to have built the first temple, and centuries after it was destroyed, where Jesus cast out the moneylenders of the second temple. Could we be witnessing a modern day miracle? We have lots of stories where people, when they are having a religious moment, see lights in the sky. Because we're at a holy site, maybe something holy is happening. This idea of a UFO Holy Land connection was revived in 2020, when an Israeli space expert sent eyes looking Whoa. towards the heavens with a startling claim. Haim Ashad, who was Israel's space security chief, went on record claiming that Earth was being visited by extraterrestrials. You literally had the highest ranking official of Israel's space program coming out publicly stating that there was a galactic federation of, of alien races. Ishad, who was promoting a book at the time, has never revealed his sources, but he's not the only believer in this federation. It is said that the Federation consists of hundreds of thousands of members and was founded millions of years ago. Well, I believe this statement by the Israeli space secretary is the truth. This whole idea of the Galactic Federation can be traced back to the Eisenhower administration in 1950. There were numerous reports that he had contact with an extraterrestrial Haim Eshed says that as part of the pact, we're allowing aliens to conduct experiments on Earth, and we built a joint underground base on Mars. So is this object a UFO, a known craft, or a bit of video hocus pocus? First, could this be Israel's Iron Dome missile system? It has been used to detect and shoot down over 2,000 rockets. The problem with that is it shoots up. <laughs> it doesn't come down like this does. Number two, the object ends up covering the defense system. It doesn't do that. As far as whether that could be a drone, there's a lag time when you add full power. We didn't see that. It just went boom, straight up in the air. So that takes drone out of the equation. That seems to narrow it down to one option, a UFO. If the video is real, we run it by Michael Primo's expert eye. So I began the analysis with media interrogation, noted that there was insufficient uh, digital information to verify it as a camera original. The metadata was scarce. Whoa. That likely means the video was run through at least one software program, stripping away much of the metadata. Upon further analysis, we applied macro block visualization. This essentially means that the software took that information out and those gradient values aren't actually recorded in the original recording. So in conclusion, uh, this recording should not be considered authentic. Whoa! It looks like someone had some fun making this video. So we're gonna call it a hoax, but this in no way disproves the Galactic Federation claim. According to Haim Eshed, the aliens will make themselves known to the wider world once humankind is ready for the truth.